Twitter, Facebook, um, the news, but mostly Twitter and Facebook, you know. I check every few minutes what's going on. Being here is hard because I'm away from my computer. I have my phone with me, but our lives are basically, I think all American Libyans' lives have been on hold because of this. This is the day we've all waited for, you know, to see um, the fall of this regime. So we're excited for that, but you know, it's, it's hard to watch what's going on. I'm, right now, NATO has been kind of slowing things down a little bit, so we're getting frustrated with that part of it. But in general, we are extremely happy. We know that if the UN had not stepped in and US had not stepped in in, the, in Benghazi, within hours, Benghazi would have been wiped out. We welcome the intervention. We were grateful for it, so yeah. My own friends, they now try to exert every effort to kind of distance themselves from me. And I understand that because I know they can be harmed in Syria. We have had uh, a few demonstrations so far, one in Anaheim, the other one in front of the uh, Syrian consulate in Newport Beach. Another one, basically, we tried to have another one here. People are scared of retribution back in Syria. The Syrian council, the uh, consulate representative, the other day when we had our, uh, our demonstration, uh, he was with two other people and they actually had their cameras, they were taking pictures. We don't know exactly for what, but we know a lot of people in the demonstration were kind of, they give their backs because they didn't want to be identified.